There he is, got him. <laughs> nice white crappie. He spotted the shad, now he's about to move in for the kill. Let's catch some fish. It's on. Wind is gusting to about 22 or 23. So we're gonna drift with these dudes. See what we can get. There's something about 30 feet out. All right, coming up on top of one. Come on, come on. You can get it. There he is, got him. <laughs> Sucker. I knew he was gonna eat it. Oh, a big white crappie. All right, let's just boat flip this bad boy. Let's boat flip. Oh my goodness. Look at that. He said, dude, I wanted a bite to eat. This is a little bit more than I bargained for. Okay. That's what I'm, nice white crappie. Oof. Let's measure him. 13 and a quarter. Dropping it down to right there. Oh, these boys are picky. Oh, picky, picky, picky. Okay, I can work for it. No problem. Right there, just like that. All right, where'd it go? It's both lip. Mr. Crappie Moglo strikes again. I think they like it because they can see it better. This sucker here is a nice black. Just over 13 inches. Typical size for Lake Carolina. Look at that right there. It's over 13 inches. I'm shooting my forward range out to 60 feet rather have it about 20 feet out. This wind is just making it rough. All right, here's my setup. Got my uh, Daiwa Fuego. This is a 2500 series. Got 10 pound Berkeley Trilene Mono in the clear color. I've got a 10 foot ACC crappie sticks. This sucker is a workhorse. 10 foot's probably my favorite size. And we're gonna start today with Old Faithful. Got my quarter ounce weight with beads and bower stoppers. And on this end, I've got the 16th ounce Mr. Crappie Moglo jig in pink. And I've got a monkey milk crappie magnet uh, soft plastic bait. These fish seem to really like it, so we're gonna start with this. There he is. Oh my goodness, that's a good one. So I'm come up and get it right by that tree. Big white crappie. Oh my goodness. This is boat fit. Oh, oh my goodness. Dang, that was so bad. It was pretty sloppy work. Let's boat flip. Oh. Look at the size of that slab. Oh my goodness. Better measure this dude. It's 14 and three quarters. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that slab right there. 
14 and three quarters. Look at the shoulders on that. Look at that mouth. Mm. White crappie. Mm. All right, one more. And we're calling it a day. One more. Okay, this is active captain. Inside the yellow circle is a school of shad. There he is. Yes. Big black crappie. Last fish of the day. We're gonna call it a day. Get in here, dude. Nice black crappie, 13 and a quarter. Look at that stud, how thick the shoulders are. He said, give me that jig, I need something to eat. Yes. You proud of yourself? All right, I'm calling it a day. What do you think, Vessus? Shit, I want some of those crappie fillets. Good day. Caught 10 in about four hours. Wind was rough, but it's always fun fishing with lots to go. Anytime you can get on the water, it's a blessing from above. So let's clean these dudes and then we're gonna cook them and eat them tonight. Got a good recipe for it coming up. Let me tell you, this Bubba Blade is the bomb. I love it. Some people are old school and cleaning their fish without an electric knife but it'd take me 50 years, so. This flexible blade is really awesome, too. It's a little bit thinner, well, love it. All right, let's clean these bad boys. Let's we'll start with that slab white crop. Look at that. Get all on the backbone. These are so big. I don't have a cutting board big enough really to uh, leave them attached to the tail. Make a vertical cut. There you way, along the backbone. Easy as that.
Those are for Festus, because he's a good boy. He has been patiently waiting here. Would you like some crappie? It's about time. There you go, good boy. One more, another piece? One more? There you go. Good boy. So what we're gonna do with the fish, there's the Edie again, hello, is we're gonna bake it at 350 for about 20 minutes. First thing I'm gonna do is put a little lemon on it, followed by some Paul Prudhomme's Seafood Magic. And then we're gonna bake it for a total of 15 or 20 minutes. But after about 10 minutes, I'm gonna melt some of this Kerrygold butter and spread it on the fish and then finish baking it. The sauce that we're gonna use is really very simple. And it consists of this chicken broth. We're gonna boil about a cup or so of that. Then we're gonna mix in mayonnaise and Dijon mustard at a ratio of about one to four. One part mustard, four parts mayonnaise. We'll use that for the sauce. It is simple and it is delicious. Let's get started. First thing, a little bit of lemon. Actually a lot of lemon. Seafood magic is awesome. Got a little bit thick, but it's okay. Now we're ready to start baking it. Okay, we got Festus helping us also. Say hello, Festus. And now we're gonna put the fish in. should take about 15 minutes. Boy, that looks good. Edie's doing a fabulous job chopping up the Brussels sprouts. This is definitely a keto-friendly meal. We are having fish and Brussels sprouts. Once the Brussels sprouts are chopped up, we'll put those on the flat top grill outside and cook those while the fish are baking and we'll be that much closer to the feast. Okay, we got the Blackstone fired up. Put a little avocado oil. We're gonna spread the avocado oil around. These Blackstone grills are awesome. And this is it, cooking at low heat too. This pit boss right here that we'll put down to cover it. Now we're gonna mix the veggie roaster. This is awesome. Then I'm gonna put about half of this on now. Okay, so the fish has been cooking for about eight minutes at 350. Now we're just gonna put some melted butter on there. This is gonna make it killer. Oh my goodness. Definitely keto friendly. Oh, this is gonna be so good. You made all that? Special ingredients, butter, butter makes everything better. OK, 
Okay, now the chicken broth is boiling. We measured one third cup, and now we're going to add the mayonnaise, a couple large dollops. Now add your Dijon mustard, about one fourth of the amount of the mayonnaise. Whisk it together, and your sauce will be ready. Looks like the Brussels sprouts are done, so we will get those off the heat on a plate. Okay, let's try this. Dang. That is good. A little bit of sauce on there. And my plate's gonna be a little bit heftier. Y'all need to learn some portion control. Dear Lord, thank you for this good food, for blessing us so much, and for being able to fish and catch these fish and now eat them. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Goes. Oh, gosh, you're so mm. <laughs> Brother, good. Mm, mm, mm. Well, that's all we've got for tonight. Hope you enjoyed it. Try this recipe. It's delicious and easy. We'll see you next time. Remember, get out there and go fishing.